Hi Aquarius, this is your monthly September tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love and an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of September. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this month. We have the Four of Swords, clarified by the Chariot. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Page of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune and uh, the Empress. And we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Cancer. And uh, since we've got quite a few Wands cards, you could be dealing with a Fire Sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is a very interesting spread, and uh, before I forget, Aquarius, if you are invited to some kind of a celebration or a wedding or a party, or if you're invited someplace warm, right, I think you should go. I think you should go because you could be meeting someone there. For others of you, um, there's going to be a very quick change in your life, a very quick change. Um, what's interesting is that the first card that came out is the Four of Swords. This is like the slowest uh, card, so to speak, out of all cards in the tarot deck. One of the slowest, right? This person is literally laying down and doing nothing or they're doing some thinking, right? So perhaps you're just chilling, you don't have, you're not thinking about uh, getting into relationships, in September, you just you just think that you will spend uh, this month uh, doing something for yourself and uh, by yourself, right? But uh, the universe has other plans for you, <laughs> because the Four of Swords is clarified by the Chariot. The Chariot is one of the fastest cards in the Tarot deck, right? <laughs> That's what a little bit weird here. For some of you, you could be thinking about an invitation to go to that party or event or a gathering, right? Uh, the chariot could be a card of travel, so that's what you could be thinking about with the Four of Swords. But I think for most of you, you're just not thinking about being really active. Perhaps you had a very um, active summer and you're thinking September is just going to be you taking a break from everything and everyone but like I said the universe got a, other plans for you. <laughs> um, the chariot is the personal cancer card so you could be dealing with a cancer or the chariot is this really fast change in your life, right? The chariot is all about going someplace or the chariot is all about moving forward or like I said some of you could be dealing with a cancer. So the next card that came out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is uh, one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. It's a family card and it's the happily ever after card. So for some of you, like I said, you could be invited to a party or a wedding or some sort of a gathering. Or this is uh, what's going to happen to you <laughs> with uh, this new person showing up in your life. I really like this Ten of Cups in here. I really do. So um, this could be on the horizon for you, this happily ever after. Uh, we also have the Sun on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So we've got the happily ever after and the happiest card in uh, the tarot deck all in the same spread. The Sun could also be someplace warm. So like I said, if you are invited somewhere to go somewhere with a bunch of friends, you could be meeting somebody uh, in that group who is going, right? Or you could be meeting someone there. Um, but um, if we want to stay general, then the sun, like I said, is the happiest card in the deck. You'll be really happy that um, your plans had to be ch changed by the universe. The next card after the Ten of Cups that came out is the Six of Wands, and it's clarified by the Page of Wands. And we also have the Ace of Wands, the first card in the potential outcome. I think those three cards have to do with the same event. Right, the six of ones. This is somebody coming into your life. Uh, they feel like they want to win you over. They feel they're coming in as um, somebody who wants to be with you. Right, uh, back in the day, the six of ones used to be called the proposal card. Right, um, and uh, the page of ones. This is together with the ace of ones. I think those two cards are talking about the same thing. So this is somebody reaching out to you. Most likely a fire sign, there is the or Sagittarius, but it could just be somebody who is very passionate, very fiery, somebody who, uh, you know, sometimes when you come into uh, a room where there is a party or an event, there's always one person, uh, like a man's man or a woman's woman, I guess, and everybody is uh, gathering around that person, so that person is always 
someone who stands out. So it could be that, that type of person you, who is coming into your life, right? Very fiery, very passionate. Uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune uh, with the Empress in the potential outcome. The Wheel of Fortune is a start of a new cycle or the Wheel of Fortune is a card of travel. So, um, nope, I'm not going to let it go for some of you. You could be traveling and that's where you'll meet this new person. But again, if we want to stay general, then uh, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a very fortunate cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news. And the last card that came out is the Empress. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Empress is abundance in its purest form. Uh, the Empress is sometimes somebody who is expecting a baby, right? So it could be you in the future, if that is still an option for you. Um, the Ten of Cups in the middle, like I said, this is also a family card, and uh, in the Sun card right next to the Empress, there is a kid riding a horse, so um, ch having children is definitely not out of the question here. And uh, the Empress in my spreads usually shows up as a sign from above, or a stamp of approval, so to speak, for a connection to move forward. So. Just to sum up, this is a very exciting month for you, Aquarius. If you were thinking about taking a break, nope. <laughs> the universe got out of plans for you. And I do see you uh, meeting this very fiery, very passionate person who's going to be very fiery and passionate about you. This person will want a commitment with you. They will treat you like the Empress. They will see you as somebody they will want to spend the rest of their life with. The Empress is a, an amazing card and this person will bring a lot of joy and happiness into your life with the Sun card. Really happy for you Aquarius, congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Five of Wands clarified by Temperance, we have the Star, we have uh, the Two of Cups and we also have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or another Aquarius. This is a very straightforward um, spread, Aquarius. Um, the two of you will be getting into some sort of a confrontation or a fight or a, a major disagreement. Right? But then they will crawl back asking for forgiveness. <laughs> and uh, you will, um, your answer is going to be yes. We're still in love. Let's not worry about what happened. But uh, they're not just going to come crawling back us begging for forgiveness. They will also give you something. Right? Uh, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is something tangible, something you can touch. So expect a, um, a gift from them. Right? And it, it's not going to be just a bouquet of flowers. I think it could be something more serious than that. <laughs> um, so the first guy that came out is the five of ones. This is a card of a fight, a confrontation, a very heated discussion, right? Uh, and it's clarified by Temperance. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. So if your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other is Sagittarius, it makes total sense. But if we want to stay general, then Temperance is about healing, burying the hatchet, uh, reconciling, right? And we also have the star right there in the middle. The star is your personal card, Aquarius. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. That means you're the one in charge. You're the one calling the shots. And that's why this person is coming back <laughs> begging for forgiveness. And we also have the Tail of Cups right next to the deck. Uh, the Tail of Cups, this is the tail of you getting back together and reestablishing this connection because both of you are still in love. The Tail of Cups is actually one of the best cards when it comes to love. It's a soulmate card, it's a card of unconditional love, and this is when two people are on the same page and uh, the feelings they have for each other are mutual. Right, so a very straightforward spread. Expect um, a confrontation, but then um, a gift. <laughs> All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aquarius, uh, this month. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Fool. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Tower. We have the Wheel of Fortune and we also have the Eight of uh, Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any sign. I was hoping to see a uh, court card as I was clarifying those two fives, those two fives that came out, uh, but we got what we got, right? So we'll just have to interpret what we got. So the two fives, the first two fives that came out, this is somebody feeling miserable, feeling left out in the cold. Um, they want a second chance with you because the Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Fool. I believe the Fool is all about second chances. It's all about wiping the slate clean and uh, starting from scratch, from ground zero. 
The Five of Cups, this is a card of a regret in this particular um, spread and they regret the Tower. The Tower, clarifying the Five of Cups, is this relationship basically falling down to the ground and being destroyed in the past. They could also have a lot of regrets if they were the one who initiated, if they were the one who were the reason for this relationship to fall apart. So right now, their current status, they're feeling miserable, they've got a lot of regrets. And uh, here they come with the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. Here they come back. And uh, ask, they will ask for a second chance, they will ask for forgiveness. The Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, this is what they want. They want to start a new cycle or restart a cycle in this particular case, right? So I think it's going to be up to you what you want to do here. Do you want to give them a second chance? Do you want to rekindle this Aquarius? Uh, but uh, this person has got a lot of regrets. I don't know if that how that's going to affect you or if you're even going to care, <laughs> Aquarius. Right, but uh, they want you back. All right. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aquarius. This month we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Page of Wands, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So the Knight of Wands, it could be somebody coming in with a very fiery offer. It could be an offer to start a new job, it could be an offer to start a business together, a side gig, but that could potentially uh, become your main source of income. Or, uh, the Knight of Wands is you. You are embracing the energy of the Knight of Wands and basically you're coming out of this hibernation, out of the summer hibernation and you're going to get more active. You're going to start working on new projects, you're going to start being more active, proactive and uh, just uh, moving forward. There's a lot of energy in this spread, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm as well. The Knight of Wands, like I said, it's all about new beginnings, it's all about getting excited about something. We also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Ace of Swords is a, a card of a new beginning, new projects, new jobs, new um, business adventures, right? The Page of Wands in the middle, this is um, a card of communication. Right? It could be incoming communication, it could be you starting to communicate with other people, it could be a back and forth communication. The Six of Pentacles, clarifying the page of once, is, a, is always a good card to have in the work and business uh, and finances spreads. This is uh, money coming in, this is you dealing with multiple people, this is you uh, basically balancing out all these projects you have on your plate, right? Just being very active, having to, to work with or having to deal with multiple people, multiple organizations, multiple projects. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, it could be you going on a business trip. And uh, if you do go on a business trip, you're going to kill it. Or the Wheel of Fortune is basically this new cycle starting in your life. Very active, very enthusiastic, very energetic cycle starting in your life. So, um, yeah, that's what I got for you. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Aquarius, for the whole month of September. We have Temperance, we have the Lovers, we have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Cups, and we also have uh, the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini or um, a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Um, this spread is about somebody coming back from the past. It could be that same person we saw in the X spread I did for you a few minutes ago, or it could be another X, right? This spread is about somebody really missing you, somebody who's got a lot of regrets, somebody who grieves not having you in their life, and uh, they want you back. That's what the spread is about. So I guess if it, that's the same X we saw in the X spread, uh, the universe... Um, it wants you to pay attention to this X. Perhaps there is there something for you. This is a different deck, by the way. I use different decks for different spreads, but we've got two repeat cards, the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, just like we had in the X spread, right? So like I said, the universe wants you to um, not just brush it off, but think it through when this person comes into your life. They really, truly miss you and they've got a lot of love for you. The Five of Pentacles is clarified by the Knight of Cups right there next to the deck. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or the Knight of Cups is them 
um, confessing their love to you, telling you that they're still in love with you, they can't let you go, they can't forget you, can we please get back together. The first card that came out is Temperance. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. This person could be a Sagittarius or Temperance is all about uh, bearing the hatchet, um, reconciling, rekindling, right? And uh, the lovers right next to you, Temperance, is uh, the personal Gemini card, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. The lovers could also be a card of a choice, so you will have uh, a choice. I think it's uh, going to be completely up to you either way. The lovers could also be a soulmate connection, the lovers could also be a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames, or the lovers could be the lover of your life, or that's the way they think of you. They think that they made a huge mistake, they think you are the love of their life, and they're, they're coming in asking to get back together with you. So the advice for you, like I said, just not to brush it off and um, think it through. Think about it. Perhaps there is there's still something there for you. Alright, so that's what I got for you Aquarius for this uh, month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing September. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.